Alright, so picking up where we left off, um, we got a promiscuous port, so if we go back to the diagram here, um, we have our promiscuous port set up, we got the port here set up going towards uh, uh, my iMac, we got the port set up going towards router 1, and now we're going to do our host ports, which is going to be VLAN 100, the, the subs for uh, router 2 and router 3, and then also VLAN 200 uh, for the isolated interface for uh, Lucky. So, we're going to use our helpful command, show CDP neighbor, um, just to see which is connected where. And let's go ahead and do uh, Rocky first. So that's the most secure. We want to get that done. So you want to go to interface, bam, bam, switch port mode, private VLAN. We want to hit the host this time, right? So you do stat, switch port mode, switch port, private VLAN, host association. Now you select the primary VLAN, right? And then the secondary VLAN that this host is going to be associated with. And in this case, it's 200 for the secondary. And now that we got that configured, so do show run interface FA 4 You can see that we got the uh, here. Now remember, you're going to see the old commands there from the access VLAN, but that doesn't matter because we're in the switchboard mode of uh, VLAN, of part of VLAN. So keep that in mind. And let's go ahead and do the same thing here. So CDP neighbor. And let's go ahead and we're going to, we can do a range command on these two interfaces. Sure. Just to save some time. Interface, range, FA. Now R3 is on uh, 0 slash 3. And R2 is on 2. So we could just do that. So we could do switch port mode, private VLAN, host. Switch port, private VLAN, host association, and we want to do 50, 100. Perfecto. So, to verify that our configuration is done, we can do a show VLAN, private VLAN, and you can see it's all communicating correctly. Now, one of the interesting thing is, is that you'll notice some of the ports bleed over into the two different VLANs, and that's a, good, a clear indication of knowing that those are your promiscuous ports. Um, so the ports that are in their own little, um, that's in their own space, that's not bleeding over into the other VLANs, you can usually tell those are going to be host space ports. But anything, you can see how it's bleeding over from 200 to five, uh, 100 uh, for FA01, which is the fast Ethernet interface going towards the router one. See that that's working. So what we can do now is do some testing. So we'll just do a, a, a few pings from switch uh, one, just to make sure we still have connectivity to everybody, which we technically should. So we'll ping router one, router one ping back OK, router two ping back OK, router three ping back OK, router four ping back OK, and then router six, I mean router six, host six, which is my uh, iMac, ping back OK. So we got connectivity, perfect. So uh, let's take these steps a, a little bit further. So we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, the first router we're going to log into is uh, let's make sure that uh, Lockheed can't ping Dell or IBM. As you remember before, we did do that ping and we were able to get to those routers. Um, but now when we get to Lockheed, technically we should fail um, on our ping over to the Dell boxes. So we just do a ping and then the IP address of the Dell is going to be dot two. So we'll go dot two, we ping, and we get no communication. Oh no, what is going on? What is going on? Um, that's private VLANs at work. So as you've seen before, we were able to ping Dell um, uh, without the private VLAN configuration, but now we're not able to. Same thing with uh, IBM. We're pinging uh, the IBM router, which is router three, and we get no communication. It's failing. Um, so yeah, this is kind of, a, see, you're seeing it at work. Now, remember that server resources that we needed to hit. Let's go ahead and see if we can hit that resource, dot six. And as you can see, we can ping my map. So we're able to hit that successfully. Now, my gateway. We're able to ping my gateway successfully. So you see, this is the, now this is, uh, now if we do a show at the art, you can see we're getting resolution, right? Um, I got my, uh, you know what? Let's let's kill this because I think these are old. Clear IP art. Uh, 
what? Why is it not giving me the command, the ability to do all? Oh, you guys suck. Maybe it's clear part thing. Okay, there we go. So, show IP art. Yeah, that's odd. It's not giving me my um, wild card to clear my art cache. Hey, it is what it is. So, let's go ahead and clear two. And we'll clear three. Definitely didn't want to do that. Damn it. Give it a second. Pause the video while it goes through its whole thinking process. So, kind of got locked up there, but whatever. So, um... Now, yeah, I cleared my art cache, and now it's not resolving. So, those were just old entries from before. I thought it was going to still resolve. But since there's no layer 2 at all, um, the segmentation is happening at layer 2. We're not even going to resolve the MAC address, uh, as we can see for router 3. And uh, we lost routers 2, so it's already aged out. Um, so, we can see that that's working. Now let's go ahead and log in to router um, 2. Cisco, Cisco. So we're the Dell router, right? Now with that said, we should be able to ping our good friend IBM because he has resources that we need to access. And as you can see, we can. We can ping IBM with no problem. As we know, we can't ping the uh, Lockheed device. We're failing there. Boy, that sucks. But hey, you know what it is, what it is. It's doing as it's supposed to. Then let's go ahead and ping our gateway. And as you can see, our gateway is pingable. And let's go ahead and access our resource, our server resource. And you can see we can hit the dot six. So by design, you know, like I said, the, the, the functionality and what we can do with private VLANs is pretty dang cool. Um, especially when you're going into, you know, you go past the enterprise and setting it up for hosts. I mean, you can set up your CEO computer and an isolated VLAN so he only talks to the gateway so nobody else can access your resources. You know, that's that's another way you can do it, you know, if you want to get it from a LAN perspective. But, you know, you, one of the cool things about these technologies is that since the enterprise LAN is essentially bridging over into uh, what used to be considered, you know, the WAN, um, unfeaturific type of uh, uh, networks, now you can actually start implementing that um, within your, uh, your MAN network and, you know, start, you know, utilizing... Uh, these technologies for different scenarios like this that I explained. Um, so that was the video on private VLANs. Uh, if you guys have any other questions or if you want to see some more videos, let me know. I'm possibly going to be doing DHCP scooping next. Don't know. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning of the video on the last video, but I did try uh, try the private VLANs with VIOS and the IOU layer two image, and they both don't work. You can do the configuration command. So if you want to get familiar with doing the commands. You could do it there, but as far as functionality, it always stays as unsupported. It never shows up um, like so. Show VLAN, private VLAN. It never gives you community and isolated. It just says unsupported. It'll show you port assignments and everything. It just, for some reason, doesn't come up. So if you want to get familiar with the commands, you know, definitely use those. But as far as you want to see the functionality and start testing, um, definitely recommend buying a 3560 or a 3750 and a couple of hosts that you can plug up to so you can actually start seeing these things uh, work. Um, so that was my video. Thanks again. Later.